How's it going guys, Vlad here and today I'm bringing you a review uh, tutorial in which we're going to be rediscussing the digital inputs and outputs on the Arduino and I'm going to make it really really simple for you. I'm going to go over uh, each one of those steps. I'm going to upload the software on my website so you can really follow and understand what is going on. Um, I've been getting a lot of questions on how many pins can you actually drive with a uh, single button? Can you toggle multiple LEDs with a single output? Can you um, can you save the state, meaning that it's not only on whenever you hold the button down? Can you um, drive uh, different states? So in this case, I have a very simple circuit set up in which I'm toggling the states of this RGB LED. So as you can see, I have the off state, I have the red, green, blue and then back to off so you can consider those as distinct pins uh, for this tutorial what you're going to need is an RGB LED or three separate LEDs you can connect them uh, just as easy uh, as an RGB one on separate pins you will need a couple of jump a couple of jumper wires you will need a push button and you will need a pull-up resistor as well as a few current limiting resistors. So let's take a look at the hardware really quick and then we'll jump straight into the software. So the RGB LED that I'm using for this particular tutorial is a common anode uh, diffused LED. So what that means essentially for you is you will need to uh, place the high pin on the common pin for the three LEDs and that's fairly important because if it is a common cathode LED you would not be able to drive uh, the same way you would need to place the ground there and then you would need to toggle the uh, three other pins so that is something you want to pay attention to you will see a small diagram on your screen right now explaining exactly how the LEDs are connected on the inside of this particular LED uh, the current limiting resistors they don't uh, they don't usually change for LEDs so this particular LED according to the data sheet has uh, up to 20 milliamps of current so the um, suggested resistances are 220 ohms uh, very simple push button uh, I have it currently connected uh, to my input pin and then that pin is being pulled up by a uh, resistor so I generally recommend 10k uh, 10 kilo ohms or you can go somewhere higher 100 kilo ohms um, that's fine too and then it it is being pulled down to the ground whenever uh, the button is pressed so that that way you detect your low uh, so very simple hardware setup uh, once again if you have any questions let me know and uh, let's take a look at the software part so here's the program that I wrote for this particular application uh, I started off by declaring the three pins that are going to be used to drive uh, each individual LED so in my case I have the red set on 13, the green set on 12, the blue set on 11, followed by the button pin which is button num uh, pin number 10 on the Arduino. The button state, so this this bit is going to essentially read if we have a uh, button press or not, so it's either going to be low or high and I initialize it with a low. Uh, the button hold state is going to be used in order to prevent the states from triggering um, while you hold down the button so it's going to uh, hold the current state that the button is on and leave it in that state until it, the button is uh, released and finally the LED state uh, integer is going to hold the four states of our LED so like I've mentioned before it's either off red green or blue turned on in the setup I define the outputs and the inputs so very simple stuff so pin mode red output green output blue output and the button will be an input for this particular uh, application uh, the digital rights we have red green and blue set to high and this is because um, of the structure of the LED you need to pull those pin high in order to turn them off so uh, during the initialization step I just pulled all of them high to make sure the LED is off when the Arduino power is on. The setup function is followed by our loop. So the first thing I do inside the loop is update the LED state and this is going to be explained down below. I have a function uh, which will update the state of the LEDs. 
Um, the button is then red, so we store the current state of the button inside button state. So this is done through a digital read button. So a um, very simple function used in the Arduino library. So this checks if the button is either low zero or high one. So if the button is low, so that means there was a press of the button. Remember, my button is pulled low whenever it is pressed and button hold is low. So pay attention to this bit. So right now it is low. It is going to go through. First of all, we're going to set that button hold to high, which means your finger is on the button and it's still there. And then we're going to toggle the state. So obviously if the state is three, you want to loop back on itself and uh, go back to zero. Otherwise you just increment the state. So imagine it like this, this part of the function is only done once until you release the button. Correct? So if the button state is high, so if you, if you've released the button, then the button hold is going to go back to low and allow this function to execute once again next time that you press the button. So this is pretty much it inside of my uh, uh, loop, inside of my main function. So the LED update is uh, also quite a simple function. So I pass the state from the loop into this function and if the state is zero, I turn off all the LEDs. Remember, they have to be pulled high in order to be turned off. If the state is one, I turn on the red LED. If the state is two, I turn on the green LED. If the state is three, I turn on the blue LED. So uh, very simple, just four states to def uh, define in this case. Could have done it through a switch statement if I wanted to. Um, what else did I want to mention? So this whole program does not utilize button debouncing. So if you want to implement button debouncing and making sure that you don't skip through states, uh, you have to watch my button debouncing tutorial and do it through either software or hardware. Uh, if you have a, any questions regarding button debouncing, please let me know in the comments below. Otherwise, um, this should be pretty self explanatory and, um, I'm going to post, like I said, the code on my website. So you uh, feel free to copy it, feel free to utilize it for any of your projects. And let me know if you have any more uh, questions and or comments with regards to um, inputs and outputs on the Arduino.